extremely unusual to have a dog team parked in, in downtown Anchorage, although less unusual in downtown Anchorage than downtown other cities of the United States. Anchorage is used to dog racing from Iditarod and Ferrandi and the other races that happen throughout the winter. But it's a little unusual for our dogs. In particular, we live in Cantwell, Alaska, which is just outside Denali National Park. And there's only 150 people in the town where we live. Our dogs aren't used to street sounds, you know, cars going by and honking and sirens. And, and here we are in the parking lot with pavement under them. There, We don't have a lot of pavement in Cantwell either. So. 1987 is when I started collecting sled dogs and I've had a pretty good sized kennel ever since. My son was born last January so we've kind of slowed things down a little bit as far as our numbers so we're, I think we've got about 65 dogs and that's about a ton of commercial dry dog food every three and a half weeks and on top of that of course probably about a half a ton every three weeks of you know the different meats and stuff that we feed them. So you're looking at about a ton and a half to a ton and three quarters every four weeks. Pushers need to transport their dogs, and so they have some sort of truck or trailer to do this. Some of them have lots of individual compartments that are accessed from the outside, sort of like dog crates all with shared walls. We have a box truck, so that gives us a big floor space that we cover with straw and there's little pick out cables to put the dogs on and it allows us to work on them on the floor. Mike calls it the rolling checkpoint. It's very comfortable for the humans in there, so when we're getting dogs ready to go for a run or a race, there's no wind blowing on us. We can have our hands out, putting booties on their feet, checking them out. We typically maintain a kennel of about 60 to 80 dogs and that includes everything from puppies all the way up to retirees and the teams are basically segmented by eight Age, just like a, maybe a high school or college athletic program. So we have our puppies that are in kind of a puppy training program and then our one and two year olds, which are kind of like a JV team, and my main race team, uh, which compromises about 24 dogs on an annual basis. And those are pretty much all the race age adults. I am a dog handler more than I am a dog musher. It was enjoying time with the dogs, enjoying the dogs that brought me to mushing and the jobs that we do for the dogs from the daily feeding and caring to raising the puppies and, and all of the things that sort of happen to take care of the dogs, that's my favorite part of it. We have two handlers working for us this winter. A dog handler comes and helps a musher train the team. So this year we have Will and Matt helping us. It would be impossible to take care of as many dogs as we have and train as many dogs as we train and do it well without extra support. Now as far as the Iditarod, you know, we're only allowed to start with 16, but all the races have a different maximum starting number. And so throughout the course of the winter, probably every one of those race age dogs will race somewhere. And just like people, they're, they're all suited to different, either different temperatures, different trail lengths, team size. So, you know, that's part of the challenge is choosing the right 12 for such and such a race or the right 16 for Iditarod.